G'day everybody, it's your boy Agent 47 here, and welcome back to the beautiful streets of Mumbai, India. The only location in Hitman 2 that's guaranteed to crash repeatedly with the use of the randomizer mod, ensuring that by the time you finish playing, you both hate life and wish you were dead. And as it turns out, our good friend Agent 47 has identified a little bit of a problem in Mumbai, India, most notably an overpopulation problem responsible for the climate change predicament we find ourselves in today. And unfortunately for the people of Mumbai, India, despite Agent 47 always having the people's best interests at heart, he has a little bit of a one-track mod where all of his solutions to life's problems result in... And yes, you might have also realized that I've got a little bit of the cheeky toy with me today. I've got Colombian drug lord Rico Delgado's very own El Matador. It has totally not standard issue body piercing rounds, and whilst it has a low rate of fire, it kicks like a f***ing mule. And for people who aren't in the know, body piercing rounds in Hitman 2 are also coincidentally concrete piercing rounds, meaning that these bullets go <laughs> through anything. And as you could probably tell by my indiscriminate murder spree at the beginning of this video, this is a kill everybody challenge. It's not just a regular kill everybody challenge though, it's a kill everybody everybody challenge with a twist. You see, this is actually the only kill everybody challenge on the entirety of YouTube that's done with the Hitman 2 randomizer mod, meaning that I've brought a couple of cheeky toys with me to help me get the job done. Yes, I've got my El Matador, I've got my Casio wristwatch alarm direct from the 1990s, a hand flare which I'm pretty sure at some point in time in this mission will help me find my micro penis, the legendary invisible apricot that legends have spoke of for millennia, which also coincidentally... <laughs> is an illegal item in Mumbai. And of course, my obligatory BYO cheeseburger, because I figure it's going to be bloody impossible to find a good piece of beef in India. Now, I'm sure at this point in the video, you're all wondering, Cheru47, why did you pick Mumbai, India as the location for your very first Kill Everybody challenge? And the answer to that is quite simple. Overpopulation. Mumbai, India has more innocent NPCs in it than any other location in the Hitman franchise, <laughs> including Miami, Florida, which simply put means that I have that many more opportunities to guilt myself into an early grave, which will obviously never happen because I have no conscience. Put those damn hands in the air. Put them up right now. <laughs> Now, my initial approach to this Kill Everyone challenge is going to be very similar to my initial approach any other time I've used the Hitman 2 randomizer mod, where I walk around looking for fun, interesting, and exciting items that I can then pick up and use not only to brutally murder my target later, but to brutally murder every single person in Mumbai, India. And yes, I just did pick up another illegal apricot. Oh wow, look at this shop right here in their beautiful selection of genuine Razer headphones. <laughs> my kind of store. Also a very big fan of how Sapienza Italy is literally on every single computer monitor in the entirety of Mumbai. And oh my goodness, somebody left an ice skate proximity explosive here for me. Oh, well, thank you. I believe that this proximity explosive would do fabulously right here. Uh, do you think maybe you could take a couple of steps to the right? <laughs> All right, cheeseburger, do your thing. <laughs> oh, God. Is that death by cheeseburger or death by exploding barrels? Truly the best thing about ill-placed explosives like that is that they can never be traced back to the idiot that placed them. Speaking of ill-placed explosives... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ah, well, isn't this wonderful? A soda can so I can quench my thirst after all of this murder. And a modern sedative syringe just hanging out of the cash register. <laughs> How convenient. Oh, well, isn't this wonderful? I've finally made it to T-Series HQ, and no, I haven't given any thought whatsoever about how I'm going to go about this Kill Everybody challenge, but the possibilities truly are endless, given the fact that it's a ginormously large map and the fact that it's seven stories up and one story below ground. And according to my map, I'm currently right here next to the construction site, which actually is a really good way for me to break in through the part where I'm not meant to enter, but I'll enter anyway because I don't give a f As a matter of fact, hey! whoa, sh Shit, I think you might have seen me. Whatever. <laughs> That's why you get paid the big bucks, buddy. As I think I was trying to say, there should be a little control room hidden inside of one of these shipping crates that has a control panel that controls the ginormous that thing. Ah, local security disguise. Yes, this will certainly help me move around a little bit less suspiciously. Let's forget about the fact that I'm a albino white guy in the middle of India, but you know. <laughs> now that little control panel I was speaking of should be... Oh, you. Got any problems with me coming in? Are we good? Splendid. As I was saying, this little control panel right here should give me the ability to drop that ginormous pipe on somebody's head. Okay, where's a couple of unsuspecting people whose day I can make an absolute misery? Oh yes, that's right, I can control it. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Oh look, a couple of innocent civilians just hanging out on that barge right there, probably thinking today can't get any worse than it is. Well, hold my beer, bitches. <laughs> There it goes. Oh no. Oh, I just dropped a ginormous cement pipe on two guys' heads. Oh, baseball bat. Wonderful. Let me go catch this asshole and I'll get back to you guys after. You are not particularly intelligent. Matter of fact, you're a bit of a dumb c Oh no! I wonder if this door being closed. Oh, we got gunshots. Touch the area. Oh. Oh my, this 
Very, very loud gun. I'm gonna surprise them. That's one. That's two. Now it's time to put this soda can. Oh, you bastard. Oh, Kurugamai 2-2, two, two, thank you. 10, but what the hell? Ah, yes, 9,973. <laughs> That's so much better. And because I am a very polite and respectful gentleman when traveling abroad, I always like to hide my dead bodies rather than leave them in plain sight. At least when there's three of them. When there's like 500 stacked up in a pile, like what's going to happen shortly, I can't guarantee anything. Oh my, well, this ginormous pit of wobbly cement certainly does give me a couple of ideas. Excuse me, sir, could you just come over here and investigate this? I, I think it's a... Uh, Crowbar on the loose. Nothing here. No, 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 that's not true. There is something here. It's it's right there. Go get it. I'll go see what's up. That sounds like a very good idea to me. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Did that guy just one shot me? Oh, look at this good Samaritan transporting those two dead bodies and then I drop the genome. Oh my God. <laughs> it's all levitating in midair. Whatever you're doing, I need you to stop it immediately. And now uh, it's time to go for a swim in the Ganges. Sorry, gentlemen, but I'm going to need you all to die quietly. Thank you very much. Hmm, beach house key. I guess that'll come in handy in HX10. Hmm, <laughs> I'm sure there's something I can do with this. Yes, that's definitely looking a lot better. <laughs> definitely much, much nicer. Bye-bye. Come on, off you get. Come on, come on. Into the water you go. Beautiful. Now to get rid of this guy. Come on. You are lowering the real estate value just lying around here dead like that. Much better. Uh-oh, they've called for reinforcements. Gonna regret this. Are you sure about that? Oh my god, this man has a gold baller. The only one around here that's allowed a gold baller is me. But as I said previously, I am a gentleman and when traveling abroad... <laughs> I always like to respect the country I'm in by hiding my dead bodies. And obviously what I mean by hide is drag all of my dead bodies into a nice neat little pile next to a cement pit. Then take my ICA proximity explosive, chuck it on the floor right there, walk far enough away so that I don't get blown up. Oh, look at that, it's raining... <laughs> It's raining men. Hallelujah. Get in the cement pit, you son of a bitch. Come on. In the pit. In the pit you go. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> These guys are deep in the middle of some scissor action. Not gonna lie, I feel kind of bad interrupting you two gentlemen, but, you know, I don't discriminate and everybody's going into the cement pit today. Come on. In you get. Good. It's just... <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I got him. I got him. Okay. Bubba, <laughs> construction site cleaner than a whistle. Matter of fact, now that I've taken care of the construction site, I might head straight into T Series HQ and see who wants to share my spaghetti sauce with me. Hello, can I interest you in a can of expired? No, you don't like expired spaghetti sauce. You're too good for my expired spaghetti sauce. Get well soon. <laughs> Get it? Cause, uh, cause it's an elevator well. And what do I have here inside of the fire axe? Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's a medieval mace. Get maced, bitch. Ooh, Bollywood crew disguise. Excellent. Because I don't know about you guys, but when I think Bollywood, I think this. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I can actually make this look like an accident. Drag you there, and then what I'm going to do is sabotage the electrical plug right here. Do, do, do. Good thing I didn't zap myself and die. Now, I could puncture that with a screwdriver, but I'm almost certainly going to kill myself, so I'm just going to shoot it like that. Oh no, those two gentlemen who were just... Standing there, perfectly fine, seem to have electrocuted them. Oh, this is terrible. I wonder if they'll still think that they died of natural causes after finding 9,000 bullets <laughs> in their head. Say hello to my little friend, Banjueros. <laughs> I love how there's a little arrow on the window here. It's like, hey, dumb dead bodies this way. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh my, they're falling. <laughs> They're falling into the cement pits. Oh, that's great. There's probably like 50 bodies in there now. 51. <laughs> the glasses being the last thing to go under was so dramatic. Oh my... Okay. Okay, this is the last thing I was expecting to find, but I just found the lever that's used to crash the train through the freaking... Oh, this is great. All right, security guard, stage crew, stage crew. Oh, security guard, shit. Well, <laughs> I guess it's all happening now. Put that gun down immediately. I am not here looking for a confrontation. I'm here looking for mass murder. Very one-sided mass murder. Come on, everybody. I'm a lover, not a fighter. This just happens to be my part-time job. Put it down. Put it down right now, or I will fill you with several hundred more holes. <laughs> you idiot. So what have I got here? I've got an antique emetic syringe. I've got a remote explosive duck. I've got another can of expired spaghetti sauce in the toilet. Actually, you know what? I feel like I would be gravely remiss if I didn't take the opportunity to overflow the sinks before leaving the building. 
That is much better. Oh, that's a mighty fancy looking sniper rifle that you've just left on the table here. Oh, wow, that thing really kicks hard, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at this guy trying to flank me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just shoot like three cement walls. And what better way to celebrate all of this mass murder than to yeet my dead target and all of his dead friends off the side of this 40-story building. Goodbye, gentlemen. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hold on, what the actual... Oh, God. It's the legendary... <gasps> apostrophe A4BA06D1 hyphen FBF2 hyphen 4228 hyphen 93C7 hyphen 67CB4F87E6AE underscore ARCHMESH underscore 2H underscore AXE underscore TITLE apostrophe. I can keep going for so long. My breath is so wonderful and fantastic. I could just say this for 10 more times. No, I could. I'm dying. And oh, my Lord, inside of the fire axe case, there's a saver. Okay, this doesn't seem so exciting anymore. All right, so now that everyone inside of T-Series HQ is dead, I've got a couple of options, which is tremendously amplified by the fact that literally nobody outside of T-Series HQ has any idea what's going on <laughs> or that I'm the man responsible for it. 47, that man there, he resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. Diana, just shut up. Shut up, Diana. I know what the Maelstrom looks like. This is him right here, and I'm going to kill him. Modern lethal, so yeah, well, this will do fabulously. Okay, well, he's as good as dead. Oh, no, look. Oh, wow. He ha- What did- Did somebody notice that I did that? Seriously, that what the was hell the you, you can't just knock well people done. out like that. Oh, but I can. <laughs> All right, time to do this in a little bit more discreet of a location, like the sewers. <laughs> Don't know why this guy's walking down here, but okay. So now that everybody in Mumbai doesn't want me dead, it should be that little bit easier for me to sneak my way into the train yard, apply this lever to the train tracks, then crash the train directly through that shed where I will run over about 500 people who are just casually drinking tea with their friends and family. Oh, baby, here it comes. <laughs> this is going to be epic. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Seems like we've had a little bit of an oopsie doop. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, oh, my. <laughs> oh, wow. Straight out the Amazon. Look at that. The Chuck Norris of trains. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously had nothing to do with this. Actually, that's a pretty nice looking suit. Oh, wow, that suits me fabulously. The real question that needs to be asked, though, is how did I manage not to kill my... Oh, hold on. That is... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, walls. My only weakness. <laughs> <laughs> not. Uh oh, this is getting a little bit uncomfortable now. There are a lot of bullets zipping past my head, and I've got no idea where they're coming from. Kind of like what just happened to that guy. All right, well, it looks like I've finished brutally murdering everybody inside of the train yards, and once again, the people of Mumbai, India seem completely oblivious to what's just taken place 10 meters away. But don't worry, everybody, I'll bring you up to speed soon. There's just one more brief stop that I need to make first, and that place is the secret underground gangster base that our friend who I poisoned earlier led us to. Ah, uh, yes, the dead red bird gang. That's what they call themselves. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. You know it, Diana. It's a interesting terminology to use for the sewer. The heart of darkness. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, it comes out of all of us, doesn't it? It's just... Oh, God. Fuck. I'll just pick my way through this door right here and see what... Oh, wow. More expired spaghetti sauce. And the big one. I've also got the big one. In my pants. I am a fortune teller. This is my crystal ball, and I predict that any moment now, you're going to... <laughs> Have an accident. So anyway, at this point in my kill everyone challenge with the Hitman 2 randomizer mod video, I'm pretty sure that people are wondering just what kind of crazy shit I've got in my inventory right now. See, like, even these people are wondering, look, they're just all, they all turned at me and they're like, hey, what kind of crazy shit have you got in your, Ooh. <laughs> have you got in your inventory right now? All right, hold on, pause the action. At this present moment, this is all of the crazy shit that I currently have in my inventory. Yes, it is probably enough to wipe out a small country somewhere in the continent of Africa or Asia or even Australia. Probably not America though because the average American has more guns than this under their own pillow. So it looks like I pissed off the local gangsters enough to come out of hiding to try and kill me. Obviously that's not going to work very well for them because everyone dies including mopeds when I'm in town. Oh my, so much carnage in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I definitely chose the right weapon with the TAC SMG Covert. Come on everybody, get down on the ground. Come on, come on, get down. Stop, drop and roll. Remember what Ronald McDonald said during fire safety classes at school? Oh, that's actually a really cool outfit. <laughs> oh God. Mumbai laundry, wash, dry and fold. I think they're probably going to need to add and die to the end of that sign up <laughs> after I'm finished here. On the plus side though think of all of the extra business that the laundry place is going to get after i leave town 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I just made magic happen. God, opening doors is such a beta thing to do. <laughs> oh my god. All right, everybody. Well, it looks like I'm finally coming to the end of my kill everyone challenge because nearly everyone is dead. Keyword being nearly. Not quite everyone, but we'll get there soon enough. <laughs> Just need to unload a couple of thousand bullets in these people right here and blow up every single vehicle I lay my eyes on. Very, very good car protection tarp right here. Protects the car from bricks, bullets, and dust. What the hell, lady? Are you completely oblivious to the death that you are currently surrounded by, that you are currently sitting in the middle of? <laughs> oh no! Oh wow! There you go. <laughs> and now, after what I believe has been a very exhausting four and a half hours, everybody in Mumbai, India, is probably dead. Oh. Okay. Now everyone in Mumbai is almost certainly, most likely dead. Well, this was the Hitman 2 kill everybody with the randomizer mod challenge. I sure hope you've enjoyed it more than the people of Mumbai have. I'd say that they've had better days, but the good news is that as soon as I hit reset, they're all going to pop back up and get ready to do it all over again. That's all.